just an easy fix, super critical, just making sure our expectations are not too high, not too low. And my three top ways on how you can do it. Hey, welcome to Mindful Muslim Speaks. So glad to have you here. This is the channel where we are empowering women to grow and thrive. We are talking about all those issues that you've been thinking about, but you just wanted to get a little bit more guidance on. If you haven't already, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know exactly when we're putting out a video like this and you won't miss a beat. Matter of fact, one of the best examples of how to treat children with equity and to give them their rights and to help promote their self-esteem is, is the example of our Prophet, peace be upon him. He was always kind with children. He spoke in a, in a quiet tone. He would go down on his knee, get at eye level. All the things we're taught in educational school about how to teach children. And um, he would constantly ask them about their feelings, open-minded, go back and forth with conversation. He never came as an authority figure there that knew it all and would order them around on the contrary on the contrary so I think we have a beautiful example that if we just stopped a moment and actually followed we might have some of the answers to our daily problems and how to raise our child properly Okay, so what are the signs that your child has low self-esteem? A child with low self-esteem will withdraw from others, avoid challenges, maybe make negative statements about themselves. You might hear them a lot talk about how they feel they can't do things, they're not good at things, they give up easily, and they're overly sensitive. Now I do want to pause a minute here in all fairness and say that there are other factors that will affect our child, right? It's not just us. There's school environment. There's the environment of the rest of the family that you have, extended family. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about with that. And you know, there's the environment we live in terms of the neighborhood. But the truth is at the end of the day, we can't always um, pine over things that we can't control. What we can control is immense and immensely positive and powerful. So now's the fun part. We're going to talk about solutions that are directly aligned with the sunnah and how we can boost our child's self-esteem and make them a happier, healthier child. So the first thing is to make sure that our expectations match the stage of development of our child. And um, there's tons of public info in terms of like by one month old, by one year old, by two years old, two and a half, what your child should be able to do biologically, emotionally, psychologically. And the truth is sometimes we don't pay attention to those markers and we're expecting things from our children that they actually can't do. Go back and listen to my podcast on how to handle toddler tantrums. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about because there is something we're talking about with the frontal uh, the frontal lobe the frontal cortex where children can actually not process certain things that many parents are ordering them to do and they're having children have meltdowns on the floor and the parents are having meltdowns but what they don't realize it's actually just developmentally inappropriate and should we have known that we could have avoided the mess altogether it's just an easy fix super critical just making sure our expectations are not too high not too low The second one is actually a lie with the sinner because sometimes the best way to avoid sinning or doing something wrong is to withhold, right? To hold back. So sometimes in a moment of anger and frustration, you have something you want to say to your child. You never, you always, you this, you that. It is not something that you know is going to be beneficial and it's only going to hurt the self-esteem of the child. So instead of speaking in that moment of anger, we withhold and we instead cool off and I have other podcasts about how you could do that you can take yourself outside cool down get control of your emotions and come back when we're clear-headed to address that problem in the right way instead of using those harmful terms we can instead say something like this I love the way you this it would be even better if you did this the even better part is the part where we're telling them like the not so great news. So I love the way you color. It would be even better if when you did it, you stayed on the paper. Another way to offer some constructive criticism in a better way is, I know you meant to do this, 
but this is what happened. How could you handle it better the next time? Again, the you, it's not me, it's not us. We're not taking the burden off of them. We're just discussing with them how they can handle it better next time. I know you didn't mean to punch your sister in the face when you were upset. How do you think you could handle it better the next time when you're upset? right? You're showing the child that they're not alone. You're showing them that you're here to give them tools, but it's still their responsibility to do the right thing. Number three, making sure that we give our children our undivided attention. I know it's hard guys, but I just want you to be a child for a minute. And I mean, I saw this one um, image on Instagram. It, it probably like struck me to the core and it was just a mom looking down and just like all these like her focusing and the children always looking up and seeing their parents on a device. I know it's hard guys with the devices, but we have to put them down. You have to understand, I have to understand. If a child is always seeing you doing this and never looking at them, it makes them feel unimportant. So I hope that was super helpful for you guys. Um, Jazek Lahir for all the comments and questions. If you don't reach me here, you can also reach me on Instagram. Don't forget to leave a comment or question below on how you help build your child's self-esteem. I'm so interested in your input. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.